Please go to elithecomputerguy.com in order to view schematics, code, and more for the projects that you are learning about. Welcome back. So I've been told lately that one of the most important things about your electronics projects is the bezel size. Yes, that's right. It's not about storage or data rate speeds or anything else. It's about the bezels, baby. And when you look at these LCD screens, these bezels, these bezels are just so 1990s. This isn't what you want for a modern Arduino project. What you want for a modern Arduino project is good old OLED. Yes, that's right, organic LED screens. You can actually buy these screens for your Arduino projects and they give you a lot of great functionality. Uh, the nice things about the screens is you can do things like animations. So basically what you're seeing, scroll across right now is animations. Uh, it's much better for text, so you can put a lot more information in there. You can do bitmap images. Basically, you can do a lot of fancy things that frankly you can't do with an LCD screen. Screen. With an LCD screen, you can print out characters and, you know, with a little bit of creativity, maybe a little bit more, but basically you can print out characters. With an OLED screen, even one of this size, again, you can do things such as uh, print out bitmap images. So you can have a bitmap image. Uh, you can have text in different sizes. So you can have different font sizes, that type of things. And you can even do animations. So normally, whenever I do these videos or do these classes, um, I find code that somebody else has created or I create my own code and I hack it together in order to demonstrate to you something that I want you to see uh, that this particular project can do. One of the things I am very impressed with is basically the Adafruit demo for the OLED screen. So if you download and install their library, they have a, a demonstration sketch. So all we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to hook up the OLED screen to your Arduino. I'm going to show you what libraries you need. And then we're going to upload the sketch that Adafruit gives you uh, for the OLED to show you all the capabilities. Because this is really cool. Again, with this, you can turn the backlight on, you can turn the backlight off, you can adjust the contrast. I mean, you can do a couple things with this. I mean, uh, LCD is nice and all, but there's really not a whole hell of a lot you can do with an LCD screen. Why I'm going to show you the demonstration is because their little demo routine shows you all the capabilities that this little OLED screen uh, can do. Everything from printing text to doing animations to showing bitmaps, the whole nine yards. So in this particular video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to install the libraries. I'm going to show you the demonstration because this this is really cool, nifty, neat, and definitely something that you should be thinking about if you're looking to create an Arduino project that needs a display. So let's go over to the workbench. Um, I'll show you how this is hooked up, uh, and then I'll go and show you how to uh, download and install the libraries. We're going to upload the sketch, and then we'll run through and show you the demonstration of what this little OLED can do. So here we go. This is all that's required in order to set up this particular project. We're using our Arduino Uno, uh, like we do for many of our projects, and we're using a 128 by 64 OLED screen. So it is important to remember that this is an I2C or an I2C uh, screen. And so because of that, we only need two data wires in order to make this work. So we have uh, this connected to the five volt in the ground. So that is for power. And then for the data, basically we simply have the, uh, what is it, the SDA, so the SDA is going to A4, and the SDL is going to A5. Now it is important whenever you're dealing with these I2C projects is that you don't actually define the, I4, the A4 and the A5 pin within the sketch. You simply always connect in this fashion if you're using the I2C. So again, SDA is gonna be going to A4, SDL is going to be going to A5, and then for this particular screen, we are using the five volt in order to power it. And so this is all that's required in order to set this up for the project. Uh, so let's go over to the computer and I can show you the libraries and show you how to upload the code to this Arduino. So here we are at the computer and I've opened up our Arduino and the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're need, going to need to add the two additional libraries uh, for to make the OLED, OLED screen work. Now the nice part about these libraries is you can just get them from the Arduino repository so you don't have to download them separately. You can simply go to Manage Libraries. So we click on the Manage Libraries. Then the first thing that we're gonna do is up here in the search. In the search, we're gonna type in 1306. 
We're going to hit enter, and then what we're going to be looking for is the Adafruit SSD 1306 by Adafruit Library. This is version 1.3 SSD 1306 OLED driver library for monochrome 12864 and 128 by 32 displays. Uh, so if it's not installed, uh, you'll get that little install button, and so you will need to install this. Uh, do install this Adafruit library. The Acrobat library, the one that shows up uh, initially, is not what we're going to be using for this particular demo demonstration, we want the Adafruit library. Uh, then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to download the GFX. We're going to install the GFX library. And so there's the Adafruit GFX library. Simply type in GFX in the search by Adafruit. Adafruit GFX library core library. This is a core class that all our other graphics libraries derive from. So basically this is just a core library they're going to need. Again, if it's not installed, you will click the install button. Uh, but that's the other library that you're going to need, and then you are going to close out. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to, going to go over to File, we're going to go to Examples, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to find the Adafruit SSD 1306 examples. So these examples here are different things that you can play with, you can modify. We're just going to go down to the S, uh, Adafruit SSD 1306 library and come here and find the SSD 1306 128 by 64 I2C. So if you have a 128 by 32, you can use that one. Uh, this is the I squared C, the I2C uh, connection that we're going to be using. So we are simply going to open up this example. Example. And so this is the example. And really, we're not going to modify much of anything in here. The only thing we may need to modify is the I2C address. Again, remember, you're dealing with I2C, I squared C, you're dealing with an addressable protocol. You can have up to whole oh, bunch. It's like 112 of these little electronic devices connected to uh, a project, uh, theoretically, but they the, the way that they're communicated to is with addresses. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, we're going to scroll down, we're going to scroll down, and what we're looking for is this. This is the address that references the screen for this particular sketch. Uh, so my address is not 0x3d. So if I simply upload my sketch as it is now, it will not work. Uh, my address is actually 0x3c. Um, and so that's the one thing. You have to make sure that you put in the right address. Um, if you don't know your address, we did do a project before doing the I2C scanner. So you so run I2C scanner, figure out what your address is, and then you would plug it in there. Past that, then all you need to do is you need to upload the code, and then we can take a look and see what the really cool demonstration looks like. Because it really is. It's, it's, it's very impressive. It's, it is so impressive that I didn't want to mess with it at all. So let's go over to the workbench and I can show you uh, what the demonstration looks like. Okay, so the, uh, the screen has been connected to the Arduino board. The sketch has been uploaded. So we will simply plug this in and see what this cool little OLED can do. So that's where we got a bitmap image there. And then now, this is where we start to see the animations. Now, one of the things you can see with this OLED screen is it's actually a monochrome screen. The bottom is blue and the top is yellow. So you can't adjust those with this particular screen. So it's just something that you need to think about when you're creating a display. But look at all this different kind of like animation-y type things and graphics that you can do that you simply cannot do with something like an LCD screen here. You know, little triangles. Then we got text. So look at all that text that you can put on there. You can put different size texts. You can make scrolling texts. Then you can scroll, like you can do like a diagonal scroll. Like you can do that kind of thing if you wanted to do that. Then here is where you get to the animation part. So all of these are bitmaps. And within the sketch it says, uh, basically where to put the bitmaps on the screen and then to have them kind of fall down the way that they're doing. And so you can see that you can even do like this type of animation with an OLED screen. So this is just gives you a tremendous amount of possibility that you simply cannot get in your LCD screen uh, no matter what you do. And so that's why these things are pretty impressive. So there you go. Now you can see how to make Arduino uh, projects that are impressive to the hipsters, right? The hipsters, they really care about that bezel size. It's all about the bezels. 
Now you can get a nice tiny little bezel there. You can get some animations. You can get some cool things going on. Uh, so I really like these little OLED uh, screens, especially for the Arduino projects. Things that I like about the OLED screens is by using the I2C protocol, uh, you only need two data wires in order to connect it to the Arduino board versus all the things you have to do for a standard LCD screen. Um, and then beyond that, with the OLED screen, again, you can change, you can do things like you can change text size, you can change where the text is, you can have bitmap images. So it just gives you a tremendous amount of potential for your Arduino project. And honestly, it really doesn't require much more than it does to, to drive one of these LCD screens. It might actually be a little bit harder to do an LCD screen, really, when you think about the code, than it does the OLED. Now, you may be thinking, oh, yeah, Eli, but you know the price difference. That's OLED. That's organic LED. What's that going to cost me? It's really not too bad. If you buy the Adafruit, so Adafruit, of course, has their OLED screens, uh, same size. It costs you about $20, which is a little steep for Arduino projects. Uh, but this uh, this one, I think this is from DIY, just one of these random Chinese companies called DIY. I think I purchased this for like 6 or $7. So, uh, you know, realistically, if you're looking at an LCD screen, especially like a 4 a four row uh, LCD screen, that's gonna cost you five or six dollars. And this OLED screen is gonna cost you six or seven dollars. When you look at it at the end of the day, I just, I, I think I would argue that the OLED screen is, is just a better overall value. And again, will be a hell of a lot easier to use at the end of the day than one of these big things. So again, for, for the difference of a dollar, I would buy I would buy these things all day long. Um, so yeah, so that's basically that's all we're dealing with with these OLED screens. They're very nice. Again, like look look at the size. I mean, I mean seriously, like look at the size difference between these things. Look at the thinness. Again, it's all about the thinness, right? Look at how thick and chunky the LCD screen is versus how tiny the OLED screen is. Um, and I think you really just get to understand how cool these are. Now, if you are gonna be buying the OLED screens, uh, the things to keep in mind are the sizes. So again, this is a 128 by 64. Uh, the library I showed you today is 128 by, uh, it also does a 128 by 32. So there are different sizes out there. That's one thing to think about. And then also to think about the colors. Uh, so with some of these screens, they're just one color, just monochromatic one color. So blue or yellow or whatever else. And this one, again, the bar at the top is yellow and below that is blue. Some of the OLED screens, you can actually change the color on them. That's going to cost you a little bit more money, but that is something they should be thinking about. And it's also something to think about when you're looking at the code, right? Because when you're when you're looking at the code, you're looking to modify code, there, there are some of the OLED screens where you can change the color of the text or whatever. Well, if you've got a monochrome OLED screen, you can't change the color of the text. So it's just one of those things to be keeping in mind with these screens. There are a lot of them out there, and you do get more options than you get with LCD screens. Again, with an LCD screen, you can buy a 16 by 2, you can buy a 20 by 4. There's not really a whole lot of options with this. With the OLED, you do need to look at the specifications because what you get in the mail might not be what you thought you were getting. So just make make sure, take a look at the specifications so to make sure you're getting what you actually want to get. Um, and with that, these things are cool, man. This is a, we finally, we're finally getting our Arduino projects up to the, the iPhone 10 era of Arduino projects. OLED all the way, right? So anyways, with that, I enjoyed doing this video and look forward to seeing you at the next one.